a blessed Wednesday to us. One particularly significant common ground, despite the, you know, the, the discourse that Jesus is giving into this gospel reading, which, by the way, is characteristically of St. John's Gospel. You know, sometimes we get so amazed by what he said. Sometimes we, we get a little bit lost. But there is always a grounding that Jesus is always trying to say. And what is he trying to say? In one word, it's faithfulness. You know, being true, being consistent in the faith that one has received in the faith that one he is trying to live despite the many different challenges and trials in the world in the world and this particular bottom line in our gospel reading today is best actually demonstrated in today's first reading and by the way today's first reading is actually just like reading a whole chapter because the responsorial psalm is also taken from the so-called song of the three young ma young men in the furnace now, these young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, in the first reading, whose original names in Hebrew were Hananiah, Azariah, and Mishael, actually showed how faithful they have been. No? And if we try to listen again to what they said to the king, to King Nebuchadnezzar, who actually was forcing them to, you know, to worship the idol, the, the statue that he, he placed and commanded that everyone should actually give uh, an honor or worship. Niingon ang tulo, niingon si ang tulo, si uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We know that he can save us. Okay? He will save us. But if ever he doesn't save us, know for sure, O king, that we will never worship the idol that you have commanded us to worship. No? Ato makita din he unsa ka matinud ano no the, the the consistency of what the three young men actually embraced in their faith of the one and only God, the God of Israel. No, bisan pag uh, he can save us for sure we know that. But if ever they, he cannot save us, we will still not worship your idol, your God. And this is something that we also have to take a look into because. Sometimes in our lives, in terms of putting into practice what the faithfulness demands for all of us, there are so many different occasions that we are actually, you know, taken out. Sometimes we are even out of context in our lives. But then there has to be some consistency that would remain. What we have believed, what we have accepted, what, what has been given to us, we should always try and strive to really become the center, to become the foundation of our lives. Even if sometimes we give in to certain things. And we know for sure, especially we are all reminded in the season of Lent, that there is somebody, there is someone who is waiting for our return if ever we go out of route. No? Kung madiskaril man ta. No, I don't know if you if you know the, the the meaning of this word discaril, no? Nakadungog naman ta ng discaril, no? No, but where is this word coming from? Discaril is actually uh, coming from the train. No, the train that actually runs through the rail. And if the rail there is something wrong with the rail, muna madiskaril. No, madisgrasya ang train. But it is not something that makes us stop. Because even if we are discouraged, if we go sometimes even to a different direction, there is always somebody who is waiting for our return to him. And as the prophet Hosea would say, come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. This is a very beautiful message for us in Lent during this time and for the days of our lives. Amen.